Good morning, Sean here. It is time now for the Revelstoke Mayor Report with Mayor Gary Stalls. Good morning, Gary. Good morning, Sean. How's life today? I'm doing all right. Pretty handsome for a 38-year-old dad. How old are you turning on Sunday? I am turning 64. Oh, almost. One more and you get that big check. <laughs> yep. I think I sent I think I got a notice from my bank saying you should hold off till you're 70 you'll get more money. Yeah, big deal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Get 5 cents more. So we have some things coming up, and you did have some questions last week about snow removal and towing. Where are we at with that? I guess I don't know whether you'd call it a blitz, but we did have our snow removal crews out. So we did have tow trucks out towing. So we did tow 16 vehicles over the weekend. Nine tickets were issued for parking. A couple of people got warnings. I guess they weren't uh, impeding snow removal, but in a way, in some way. And then, of course, somebody was plugged into one of our city buildings camping. So their extension cord got seized and they were without power. So that's kind of what had happened. And then our, our snow removal crews were able to get pretty much the entire downtown core clean and ready to go for Monday. You know, it's funny because you've been here for so long. I know that you probably remember a time when you could lay in the middle of McKenzie and the car still wouldn't run you over. Yeah, exactly. Now yeah. you can't find parking anywhere. And then, of course, everyone's like, Tom to Sycamore. <laughs> I had heard about somebody plugging into like a city outlet and I thought, well, I don't even know if they're turned on. I thought they had to manually go turn them on, but I guess, well, not. It, I guess it depends on, on where, which they one it at. is. Yeah. Uh, they learned the hard way uh, not to do that. So a couple of things we're just going to highlight that we've talked about before and two public hearings on February 22nd. One is the zoning amendment bylaw 2318. And it's basically just to, uh, improved consistency in terminology with regulations pertaining to short-term rentals. And then there's a zoning amendment bylaw 2295, which actually is amending the zoning bylaw uh, 2299 to basic or 2295 to regulatory framework for uh, short-term rentals. Two of those things, it's all going to be electronic participation, either video or by telephone. People can register in advance on the city website. There's a public hearing page. Electronic registration is going to be accepted up till the end of the public hearing. So if people you know, want to register and they actually have listened to some of it and they want to participate, they still have the option to do that. And e- emails go to uh, public hearings at revelstoke.ca to be included. Uh, they can do handwritten submissions if they want or they can register for the public hearing. So we'll talk a little bit more about that next week, but definitely it is uh, going to be on the 22nd. And we're, you know, people are wondering what's going to happen with uh, short-term rentals. Definitely there's some bylaws that are being presented. People will be able to find the information on the city website, give their opinion as to what they feel, and uh, and let's see if we can move this forward. Okay. I mean, I'm sure it'll have some spiciness to it, something like that probably would and usually does. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, there's some, some people will be happy, some won't, won't be, but they'll give us their opinion. And, and the idea of the public hearing is for council to hear. And there is no, uh, we don't turn anyone away with their opinions. We want to hear their opinions, no matter whether they're pro or, uh, or against. Let's hear what they have to say, and we'll take that into consideration when we uh, when we make our decisions uh, in council. CBT community initiatives, we talked about that. Project funding applications are now open, so the Community Basin Trust has these uh, initiatives to help people with uh, supporting their community projects. Basically, it's aiming to provide benefit to the broad community. What I want to kind of talk about with that, this program is not intended to uh, provide organizations with funding to support year-over-year operational costs. So if you've got some new ideas that you want to bring on that you think is going to be beneficial to the community, please apply. Again, there's more on our website, revelstoke.ca. Deadline for submissions is February 14th, so we don't want to be waiting. Let's get on with that because Monday will be the, uh, the deadline on that. And then we we talked last week about uh, the doggy doo-doo. The reason I'm talking about this again is people are going, well, nobody's seeing my dog do it, so it didn't happen. Actually, it is happening, and people are stepping in it, and it's a mess for everybody. 
We want people to be aware that if they're caught not picking up after their dog, they could be fined 200 bucks. So we just want to basically make sure that people are cleaning up after the animal and then you and I aren't stepping in it, Sean. Gary, that is expensive crap. <laughs> it is expensive crap. And that's basically all I've got for you this week, Sean. Well, that's more than enough. We'll end it on a high note as we just finished talking about dog crap. So, Gary, have a fantastic weekend. Enjoy your birthday. And uh, right, we'll check thanks. in with you next week. All right. Thanks so much, Sean. Appreciate it.